cool. So um, thank you so much for joining me. First of all, I appreciate you. Yeah. Uh, so I'm here with Melissa, but yeah, Melissa, why don't you introduce yourself? Um, you know, you know, uh, who you are, what you do, all the, how you came about call this, this program, all that stuff. Sure. So uh, my name is Melissa and um, I am a mom of two and um, wife of almost seven years now. So um, I, my kids are both girls and they're three and five and I work full-time plus some. So I have a job and a half, I guess you could, say. um, my main job, um, is in the healthcare industry and I manage, uh, a large team and, and get to drive business growth. So yeah, lots of fun stuff there. So in other words, you are extremely busy not only are you working and managing people, you know, in your job, but you're also taking care of your kids and, and being a wife and, and all that. Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, it's a cool plate. <laughs> how did you come across our program? Um, I had a friend who um, was also doing the program and she was really excited about it. So um, gave me Amber's information and I think the rest is history there, but um, it was definitely word of mouth. So my friend had heard it from another one of their friends. And yeah, yeah, absolutely. And and so kind of give me a breakdown of like, what, um, where were you just in terms of, you know, mentally and physically before you started the 12 week, uh, the 12 week program? Yeah, so I very much operated in like a cyclical um, kind of scenario where I would go from being very focused on fitness and healthy eating and all that to who gives a crap. And, um, I'm just going to live my life and not worry about it. And I would really struggle with that, um, spectrum of feelings because, um, like it would, it, to me, it felt like a balance between mental health and physical health and how I would, would manage the two. If I was doing really well physically, I felt like my mental health was suffering because I was feeling restricted and then vice versa. So, um, hope that answers your question. A hundred percent. So you're basically going for this balance between like, you'd either be like super strict doing, you know, training and nutrition and everything. And mm-hmm. then would be like, you know what, like, I just, I want the opposite. I'm going to go yellow yeah like do my own thing live my life yeah yeah okay. got it yeah. and so um you know obviously when we talked about the program um you know what what were some of your hesitations um before you to do like a program like this before this program like what were your hesitations what were your biggest uh fears about the program once you like signed up yeah um i think my biggest fear was that I was going to spend all of this money, to be honest, and, um, and come out the same way that I had with any other thing that I've tried. I've tried other things before that cost money. I've tried other things that are free. I've tried to go on my own. I've tried to just live my life and see what happens and all of that. And so to really put the money behind it, I mean, um, that was a big decision and, um, to be scared of, you know, basically being, you know, betting on myself that I was going to make this work and, and follow through with it. hundred percent, you know, cause there's that fear of like, oh my God, am I going to be able to do this? Is this program going to be too hard? Um, mm-hmm. Once you join the program, what was that like? What was the, 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 like, what was that change for you? Yeah. Well, I think the first, um, like probably one of the little surprises along the way for me uh, was I, I can remember feeling like pretty proud of myself when um, you and Amber both asked me like, oh, like what's your workout schedule? And I was like five or six times a week. I was working out, you know, 45 minutes to now. And, and one of you said like, that's too much. <laughs> like, so I think that was kind of my first, you know, thought of like, oh, well, this is actually manageable. And like, I'm going to actually pair back a little bit on the things that were making me feel restricted. Um, and then the diet part is actually like probably the more difficult part for me. Um, and I really appreciated that it was kind of stepwise on what like I could be doing. And, um, at times I'd like actually want to get ahead of that step, but, um, to kind of master one thing and then go to the next thing and kind of build on top of 
um, the previous. 100%. Yeah, that's the goal is like, obviously, we have you focus on one thing, then once you get that down, we stack another. And a lot of times, mm-hmm. you know, we're, we just want to get through it so fast and kind of go back to our old way of doing things, which is like, doing something super intense, going all in, getting really complicated really quick, and then just diving right back out. But when we're able to mm-hmm. just do it one step at a time, what was that like for you? Obviously, you said that it was like, at first, you're like, I wanted to speed through it. But how how how'd that work for you? Um, it worked well. So I think I've never outside of one other program I did that obviously was not sustainable <laughs> term. Um, I've never really stuck with something even like a 12 week period. So I think the fact that it was stepwise and that um, Ambra was with me along the way to say, you know, how's this working? Do we need to change anything? Um, okay, like you've got that, let's do the next thing. I think that made it a lot more manageable and that um, I wasn't feeling like this all of a sudden, all in like this or nothing type of mentality. So that, that helped a lot. Yeah, is the coaching behind it. That's awesome. And speaking of like mm-hmm. coaching, had, had you done any coaching like this in the past in terms of nutrition and, and fitness and, uh, or, and what have you tried in the past? Yeah. So I, at one point I did try, um, like an online coach, like a long time ago, it was mildly helpful that that program was also extremely intense at the time. Um, so again, not, I wasn't, you know, able to maintain it. Um, and then the other, I've tried 75 hard and, uh, that was also really helpful during 75 days, but then, um, (laughs) I went, I, I ricocheted, I like whiplash right back out of that. Um, and, and so other things like, um, I've tried weight watchers as well, which, um, was, also helpful, but I would manipulate the, the plan to, you know, basically binge if I save up the points I can binge (laughs) at the end. So that, um, it it wasn't something where I felt good mentally with how I was operating. It wasn't, I didn't felt it might've been getting me physically more healthy, but like overall well being wasn't there. So this program was helping me with that. And with regard to coaching, I've never been in a coaching scenario where the coach is asking me things about like, how's your sleep and how's your stress level? And like, okay, well that's off. So let's fix that. Or let's set another goal with something you've been aspiring to. That's not like physically, um, it's not a physical characteristic. Um, it's, it's something else about your well being. Yeah, that's so great. And able to just be able to step back and look at, you know, what else am I trying to accomplish here? And mm-hmm. you know, what else, how, how is my life right now? Like, am I, am I yeah. getting enough rest? Am I okay? Am I energetic? You know, um, I think it's so important. It's so overlooked in, in, you know, many coaching programs. Um, and, and so uh, what, um, what were your exact results in the program? So um, from a weight perspective, I think I lost about 17 pounds during the 12 weeks and I'm continuing on and it's going in the same direction. Um, and um, obviously my diet's changed quite a bit. Um, I, I think one of the, the coolest things for me, um, being vulnerable here for a minute, but happy to do it was, you know, beginning, um, the, the 12 weeks, I just had a general feeling of self-consciousness about my, my physical presence. And, um, at the end of the 12 weeks, I felt normal. Like I'm just here, you know, like it was a good normal, um, to be, to be out there and not have to like push through those feelings, um, versus having to kind of just, you know, live with them so yeah absolutely so you, you're having those like negative thoughts or self-talk or just not feeling as confident as, as you know yeah. and, and then going through the program you didn't even have those thoughts at all yeah it, it was actually it kind of culminated so last week I had a, a work trip and um I, I also had one in October before I started this program and the, it was night and day in terms of how I felt about myself going into an environment that, you know, I'm in a professional environment 
and with people I don't know or people that I don't see very often and just how I felt about that scenario and going into it um, from just a personal confidence standpoint, it, it was totally night and day. I love that. That's so awesome. And so speaking of which, because you were you, you traveled to that, um, you know, the common things that are going to derail, especially our moms, like is travel, is stress, is, um, you know, meals out. You had all those throughout the whole time. Um, how were you able to, uh, to, you know, stick, stick with what you were looking to accomplish here? Yeah. So to be, I don't think I've perfected that to be quite honest, but, um, I did say that, um, I, in the scenario, I was on a vacation like three weeks in and, um, Amber and I just decided, you know, what are the things that you need to focus on while you're there and hit those things. Um, and so I was able to do that. Um, it, it, it led me to not being feeling being restricted the whole time. And, um, if it, if there was a slip somewhere, it wasn't like, oh, well, I'm just going to like totally jump off the wagon and like go all in on the other direction. So for instance, on this work trip, I, I went off plan a little bit and, um, it still allowed me to kind of regroup and I still, you know, focused on other things like water and like trying to get sleep and like all the other things that would help. And then, um, a big difference for me was one, I didn't beat myself up over a change in the plan. Um, I feel like I was able to come back and fix it or, you know, the next day was still okay versus continuing down the path. And then two, coming back from those outings or whatever it is that was not the norm, um, I was able to just jump right back into it versus it, you know, snowballing into a multi-day thing, even when I'm back in my normal environment. 100%. And so common, you know, in terms of just like, I, I think I said the other day, just like you have a flat tire and then you get out of your car and you slash the other tires because you're whatever yeah. that tire is flat. In the past, that's what you're doing. But now it's like, you have a flat tire you, you just change it, right? You just kind of get back yeah. on track and, and control what you can and not beat yourself up. Um, yeah. and so, uh, what, like going back in time, if you can go back in time and talk to Melissa right before she started the program, what would you tell her so she could have, you know, the best success in this program and just to give her some peace of mind? Oh, um, oh gosh, I just, keep up with it. Um, don't, don't worry about a mess up. Um, you're going to be able to do this, I I guess. Yeah. (laughs) Um, yeah, just to reassure that, um, it's, it's a good decision for myself and my family and that it will help with making the changes that I want to make. So hundred percent. Love that. Awesome. Um, someone that is looking to, you know, uh, either get healthy or prior a mom that's trying to prioritize herself or she's trying to lose some weight or, uh, you know, get her energy up. Um, she wants to do a program, but she's not really sure about this one. What would you tell someone in that position? Yeah, I think the big differentiator for here is back to that comment I had about well-being and that that was the big differentiator for me that and the, the coaching and accountability it, well those are very intertwined um the coaching and focusing on the well-being aspect I think is what really sets this program apart for me um and what helped me be successful that I really felt like I had somebody that was wasn't just looking at like oh you lost a pound it's really, how are you doing? And, um, how can I make this better for you? How can I help you be successful? And that type of partnership with the the coach that I had is really what I feel like helped me do this. So, um, that's, that's why this program is the one I would choose. I love it. Awesome. Um, anything you want to add to, uh, you know, anyone out there they think would be helpful, um, the workouts, the nutrition, the coaching, anything at all? Um, I guess the, the thing that I mentioned around it being the most surprising, I think a lot of, um, 
women in my position, maybe that have had kids or even not had kids that are experiencing changes in their body, um, in the, the middle of their life, um, there is an, a tendency to just say, oh, well, just go after it it's super hard. You'll get there if you just stick with it. And it's all related to motivation. And that's just not going to be something that you can hold on to forever. So um, rather than trying to just do it out of sheer will, will find something that is really going to help you and get it to the long term and focus on the entirety of your well being versus just like a physical weight or, you know, number or, you know, something like that, that, um, is only probably a symptom of the overall issue. So super helpful. Yeah. I think that's super helpful with everyone, you know, yeah, you know, because as moms, you know, specifically you have this drastic change in your body and it's really quick. And then you have this new lifestyle and it just feels like you're fighting such an uphill battle. So the inclination to do something that's going to get the weight off fast or get you healthy fast or whatever it is, is really, really strong. But Long term, it's just being able to step back like you were um, and do something that's more sustainable and get the proper coaching to learn the skills and make the habits necessary. Yeah. Yeah. And your mental health is just as important as your physical health. So picking, you know, finding a way through this that does both, not just does one at the mercy of the other one, you know, like it's, and that's what I think a lot of people in my position would do is just you got, to, it's almost like you shut down the mental aspect in order to get the physical results. And, um, it, it that's just not going to help you long-term. You've got to, you've got to go after both. Absolutely. Yeah. And any moms listening to this, you know, that are working, uh, working and, and just kind of find can relate a lot to Melissa and your story. Um, you know, I think it's just so important. There's so many good nuggets in there. And, and you know, if you're kind of relating to what everyone was saying, this program will work for you. Cause I told Melissa this, right before we hopped on here, I said, you know, and when people, I hop on the call and they're on the onboarding to sign up, I know if they're going to have success or not on the program. And I said, Melissa, I know you're going to have hundred percent success and you crush the program. And it's so cool to, uh, to watch you have that transformation, um, obviously physically, but more and more so mentally and really get the sustainable. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate you. I appreciate investment. I appreciate your, your investment financially and and time-wise into our program. And, uh, I'm glad Mm -hmm. we were able to help. Yeah. Well, thank you. Appreciate it.